So this is for our Chevelle over on the other side there. Uh, the LSA motors didn't come with AC. Customer wants AC on that car. So we're making some custom brackets to do that for him. We made a nice little set of brackets for this guy here. It was kind of a mock-up compressor. We got our final compressor today. It's got a little bit bigger tolerances. So now we're customizing our custom brackets to fit the bigger compressor. And so what we have to do is add a little bit of tubing here for some spacing. Um, we had a, a tab hanging off of this guy that sits a little tighter than it will on this. So we chopped that off. We're gonna add some material to this guy, space it out about a quarter inch so it wraps around here and we're nice and secure. And we'll show you the fitment over on the other side. Yeah, so this is the piece we're kind of adding on to here. Like I said, we had to cut it. We have to extend it out about a quarter of an inch. And so we're just adding that material with the weld. That way we have more surface area to make up for that gap that we lost with the newer compressor that's a little bit bigger. Smells like a wood burning stove, dude, it's nice. So we made that new tab here onto the part that we're lengthening. And the ear around the hole there that he had drilled is a bit big, so it's kind of encroaching on that housing there. So he's gonna sand that down a bit while I smooth out this edge, and then hopefully we can meet right in the middle, weld those together, be good to go. Alrighty, let's take this guy over to the welding table and get her tacked up. And that's what I was talking about earlier where we had cut it short for this ear on this compressor. It's got a little bit bigger gap. So I brought that material out. That way I can weld down that seam and have a nice solid weld. Now we got that guy tacked together. So we're just gonna go ahead and give her a weld down the, down the seam on each side. So we'll wait for this guy to cool down a little bit and then we should be able to take it over to the car, mock it up, make sure it fits good and uh, we'll be good to go from there. Alrighty, let's get this guy mocked up in here. Right about there, probably good. Alrighty, so this is our lower bracket here for the compressor. And then up here installed already, we have that uh, upper bracket that you guys saw me extending with the weld. So this is that sandwich part of the bracket for the top of the compressor. We're gonna throw this guy in there, mock it up, make sure it fits perfect. Kinda need to wiggle this guy around a bit on this one, but then I'll kinda hop more out of your way so you can see more in a second. I'm hoping at least those first two went in nice and smooth and look nice for you, you know? Alrighty, looks like we got a good fit there. So what I'm gonna do, take these guys out, radius some of the corners, kind of a final prep before we e-coat those, and then we'll throw them in for the final install. 